Hi guys, Buckskin Dave here. Any of you guys ever thought of what the interval would be that you would change your carry ammo out, your your defensive ammo, or if you're a policeman, your duty ammo? Um, one de one police department I worked on, uh, we qualified twice a year or every six months with, uh, and we qualified with our duty ammo. So we shot our duty ammo out uh, and then recharged the gun after we qualified with fresh ammo. Um, uh, another department I worked on, uh, we would uh, qualify twice a year, but only once a year would we change out our ammo. Is it necessary? I don't know, it's just one more thing I'm giving you you could worry about in your defensive, uh, setting up your defensive gun and stuff. I don't know, we change our oil every 3,000. For me, I like it because I practice with practice ammo because it's cheaper. And then my carry ammo is usually a really good high shock, like this Federal Premium or something, you know, much more expensive to practice with. Changing it out once a year for me gives me a chance to shoot with this ammo a little bit because it's just a little hotter and it's probably going to land in the same place on target, you know, point of aim, point of impact, but uh, it might have just a little more recoil. So it's time for me to change out ammo. I got three targets over here. I'm going to do kind of my version of the BFM drill. Um, for anybody that wants a, the uh, Ken Hackathorn BFM drill, look into my Ken Hackathorn playlist and there's the BFM drill. Basically it's three drills, the Bill drill, the Fast drill, and the Mozambique. I've got three targets over here. I'm going to kind of do them separate or I don't know. I'm burning up ammo and I want to get a little practice out of it. I get so many people that make a big deal about oh that drill this or that drill that or oh I wouldn't go in with just two rounds and blah 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 blah. Just do the damn drill, okay? Or don't do it. I do my own version of it. So anyway, come on along and have, let's shoot up some ammo. Okay, the first thing that the first drill that I learned, uh, or the, the first way I learned the build drill was six rounds, six seconds, six yards. It's another one that's been raped in every different direction, ten yards, ten rounds, blah blah blah. I'm gonna do it the way I was taught and it kind of works for me. So I just got three IPSC targets up. The build drill is actually supposed to be done on a bullseye kind of target. I don't have one, so here we go. And I'm not timing myself. I'm just shooting to practice, low drag practice. So. Yeah, duty ammo is quite a bit more stout than practice ammo. It's a good practice to do it. I got them all in the A box. Pretty good group. The second I'm happy. part of this On to is the uh, normally if you're shooting like an eight shot, 1911 or so, you put your six here. You come over and you have two shots, and you have to change magazines for this fast drill. And okay, I'm going to get cussed out, but I have two rounds in my gun for the first two shots, then I'll change mags and put four shots in the A, uh, A box. Like I say, I'm doing them separate just to get some practice, so. Oh, on the fast drill, uh, the two go to the head and then four into the body after the mag change. So, and I'm wearing stuff the way I normally wear it. I have clothing in the way. Uh, this is the way I kind of walk with my gun. Anyway, here we go. Okay, that one's one I need practice on. That was a shitty mag change. And then uh, we step over and the other target is the uh, Mozambique drill. Two to the chest, one to the head. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! We have a malfunction. Now,
Isn't that amazing that this happened as I was doing this? That's a live piece of duty around and it malfunctioned. So maybe there is a good reason to change it. Mozambique. Okay, two to the chest, they're in the A box and uh, one is right on the A. So, now I like, when I put them together, um, normally they're shot from one position uh, in the hackathon thing. I kind of spread them out, I'll do one, and then maybe move and do the next two, because if you're shooting, you put should be together, moving. Low speed, low drag. So, let me get set up. Okay, I didn't move on that, and I have no idea what the time was, but all my hits are pretty good. There was a few that were out in that center one, uh, but not from this run. Everything went pretty much where it's supposed to, so I'm going to do a couple of more of these build drills. Uh, as we can see, probably a good idea to change your ammo at least once a Hi. year. I don't know where I'm going to run out. I don't know what my pistol is, where it's at, so we're just going to work with it as we go this out of the way so we can move a little too. Okay, here we go. The idea of a fast reload isn't necessarily knowing when it's going to happen. If you do the drill and you know it's going to happen, but if you have somebody else load your magazines, you have no idea when it's going to happen. Uh, the idea is to be able to do that quick reload when you need to. Move, look for cover, all that stuff. There's actually no cover here, so all you can really do to protect yourself is move. So I got a little bit more of this, or this duty ammo to shoot up. So I'm going to do that. Amazing how fast you could go through four, uh, well actually five 14 round magazines. So anyway, I'm just going to do some drawing and double taps with what I got left in my magazine. Okay, that's it. Anyway, practice a lot. Use good carry ammo, good defensive ammo carrying. Change it at least once a year. Practice with it a little bit. And uh, it's one less problem you'll have to worry about when that fatal moment comes that you've got to actually defend yourself using a firearm. Anyway, I'm Buckskin Dave. You guys have a great day. See you next time.